I praise God, Claire the branch. Today we'll tackle two topics about our dreams. These topics are common. May the Lord give us the grace to manage tackling them. Lord Father, lead us into this uh, broadcast today. Go forth our broadcast, Lord Father, and every spirit power personnel that is reinforcing because our prayers, because of our relationship to God. Let those speak be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord give us the grace to uh, broadcast. May the Lord give us the grace and even those ones who are watching to watch and get the message clearly. May the Lord go forth us. May the Lord be with us always on this broadcast in Jesus' name. May the Lord give you the grace. May the Lord have mercy on each and every one of us who are listening, those who are connected. May the Lord be with you. So today's topic will be the police. I will, I will talk about police and we'll talk about why we dream of lions. It's not common, but sometimes we dream it when it's just uh, by the sky. Then sometimes we dream it when it's just the normal lion. Uh, so we'll talk about a few points uh, 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 that uh, the, 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 the few points on the lion and a few points on the police. Why we dream of these two things or why we dream we are not dreaming them at once, but we. Uh, I wanted to put this point because a lot of dreams are coming in and uh, I'm, uh, I'm like, I want to tackle the points which have come in for a week, at least uh, before the, the end of the week, so that at least we uh, catch up with the uh, inflow. So may the Lord do with us, may the Lord have mercy on us. Before we go into the uh, dream, uh, dreams uh, dream interpretations we read a verse we read isaiah we read isaiah isaiah 10 we read verses 20 we'll go up to verses 10, verses 24 uh, a time is coming when the survivors from israel and judah will completely depend on the holy lord of israel instead of the nation that defeated them there were uh, that defeated them. There were as many people as there are grains of sand along the seashore, but only a few will survive to come back to Israel. Uh, to come back to Israel's mighty God. This is because he has uh, threatened to destroy their nation, just as they deserve. The Lord All Powerful has promised that everyone on, on this earth will be punished. Now the Lord God All-Powerful says to his people in Jerusalem, the Israelites uh, will, will beat you with sticks and abuse you just as the Egyptians did, but don't be afraid of them. Soon I will stop being angry with you and I will punish them for their crimes. I will beat and uh, I will beat the um, Israelites with a wife, as I did the people of Midian, Midian near the rock at Reb. And I will show the same mighty power that I used when I made a path through the sea in Egypt. Then they will no long then then they will no longer rule your nation. All will go well for you, and your burdens will be lifted. Amen, Jehovah. May our burdens be lifted in Jesus' name. Father, have mercy and forgive us. Forgive our sins. Forgive us, Lord Father. Don't punish us in anger. Don't correct us in anger. Father, be with us. Might power be with us. The Lord of lords, the Lord of mercy, the Lord of patience. Be with us in the mighty name of Jesus. And please forgive us and don't correct us in anger. So God is telling you, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. They might attack. They might attack you, but He'll still uh, chip in. He'll still be there to protect you. And also, God is just saying uh, on uh, maybe this broadcast or these teachings of God. You can start like a hundred people. 
by the end of it all because it's not easy it's not an easy job that's why you every time ask for the grace of god because you reach at a certain extent and you're like until when when you finish this one another one comes in when you finish the other one, another one comes in so you realize that it's not it only needs the grace of god for you to uh have the grace to keep on praying so that's why god is even he knew that it's not an easy work that's why he's also writing it in the bible and he's saying people will not will be uh, as uh, will be many as the sand on the shores uh, on the seashore but again after some time because god has won to punish them you know when you're praying he'll uh you receive some punishment still. Those automatic curses will be within. But again, he's there. You know, he's like me. If it's God telling me I'm punishing you, I'm not afraid. It's like a mother's uh, punishing a kid. You know, the hands are always there. Is a way the hands are a little bit folded. So may the Lord help us. May the Lord be with us. May the Lord fulfill His promises in Jesus' name. Enemy troops have reached the town of Area. They have gone through Megan and they store their surprise. Before crossing the valley and spending the night at Geba, the people of Har the people of Rama are terrified. Everyone in Gabra uh, in Gebe, the hometown of Saul, has run has run away. Lord, cry, Lord, crying can be heard in the towns of uh, Glim, and surrounding another. Uh, uh, <laughs> no one is left. Today, the enemy will camp at Nob and shake <laughs> and shake. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, someone was sending a message and check. Threatening first at, at Mount Zion in Jerusalem. But the Lord all powerful will use his fearsome might, uh, mighty to bring down the tallest trees and to chop off every branch with an axe. The glorious Lord will destroy every tree in the forest of Lebanon. May the Lord destroy all those branches, all those demonic branches and every evil tree that has been planted into our lives. Those trees that are planted by the demonic foods that we eat in the dream. Those trees that are planted by the arrows the enemy sent to us. May the Lord root them out and wither them in the, in the mighty name of Jesus. So we'll go to, into today's topic straight. May the Lord give us the grace uh, to say and to remember at least a few points on such dreams. First and foremost, why do you dream of, for example, for first, when you dream of a lion, for example, sometimes you dream of a lion, the normal lion, the animal, you dream about it, but it's surrounding you, it's not uh, harming you, it's not uh, uh, chasing you, it's just, uh, they are just surrounded, they are just surrounding you. It means the glory of God is surrounding you. It means the angel of God is uh, with you. It means uh, the peace of God is with you. It means you, uh, you God, God is might power is uh, you. God is might power. Like you have a guarantee for God is might power. This is the same when you just see the lion at the sky. When you into some battles and you just see the lion at the sky. And most of the those are the uh, the common dreams I do always dream when a uh, uh, God is telling me no, this battle is with uh, like, yeah it's in my hands you know. So when you see the lions uh, by the sky or the ones which are not harming you, the normal ones, the animal, it means and all those the guarantee of God, God is uh, peace is with you. It's a joy, it's a deliverance. It's like God has gone forth those battles. So. The might king is with you, so you don't, you're not supposed to be afraid. It means uh, be courageous, be brave. So those are the reasons why you dream it. Most cases, you dream it at the sky, but uh, you have to differentiate. Most cases, God, anyway, will just give you the grace to differentiate those lines sometime. Uh, when you'll be praying, he'll, he, you will get the difference between the God is might lion and the demon lion. So now... Those are the few when you dream it by the sky. Then when you dream it uh, in different uh, ways, for example, when you dream uh, a lion. Now, when you dream a lion, 
when you dream when a lion is sick you're seeing a lion but is helpless is sick it means spiritually you you're sick spiritually you're sick so you need to pray harder so that at least you get healed spiritually in Jesus' name you uh, transfuse the blood of Jesus into your body so that at least you can get the power the life the virtues in the blood of Jesus uh, so when you dream that the the lion escaped from the cage it also it means restoration it means uh, deliverance it means you are uh, you are a free person God has uh, remembered you and has uh, uh, broken those chains around your life so when you dream it uh, escaping from the cage it means it's you that God is saying you are free so it means you're walking a free man may the lord uh, break all those cages in jesus name when you dream about when you dream about killing uh, a lion killing someone a lion tearing a, a, a person it means that there is somebody uh, maybe your kid maybe uh, somebody uh, closer to you that is being the enemy is planning to do evil or to kill so you have to pray for the close your closest family members uh so when you dream of a lion uh killing anybody yeah you have to pray for the closest family members it means that uh, the lion the enemy is planning to do evil to the people who are really um, um closer to you uh, people who are uh, really uh meaning a lot in your life so you have more so when it is killing a child a helpless thing so you have just to pray for those people and may the lord locate them in jesus name when you're killing when the lion uh so uh, that the person is going to die but still when it, it is killing a man or a big person when those people are fighting back it means it's you and the enemy it's you and the enemy and the enemy is just after your life so it's uh those two things when it's killing a kid helpless child it means people who are around you when it's killing a person that is even fighting back it means it's you and the enemy is really after your life so when you're dreaming a lion lowering lowering like uh, making that noise it means the enemies are so angry at you and they can do anything to uh, let you out of this world so you have to pray that uh, every anger to uh, every anger uh, towards me every demonic anger towards me uh every anger that is coming from my enemies every demonic anger towards me you command that anger or oh, that anger that is programmed into my life you command that anger to be deprogrammed in the mind name of jesus and that hour of anger you fight back to the sender may the lord have mercy on us so every demonic anger that the enemy is feeling towards you let that anger be cancelled and be not fight in the mind name of jesus then we go to when you dream of the Mm. when you dream of the lion like maybe coming at your back like or oh, following you you just hide and you see it there you you find out that the, and, and the lion itself is just following you is going to uh all the, like you find yourself in fact all the animals when you find that the animals or even a person is following you now note this that when a person is following you in a dream when there is a certain uh, animal that is following you in a dream when you you see you're being followed it means that the enemy that you have strong monitoring spirits and so when it's a lion it means that you have strong monitoring spirits and may the lord blind them and paralyze them deaf them in in jesus mighty name in Jesus is my name so when you see a lion giving birth it means bad luck if you see a lion giving birth and it rain it's raining it means now the news you receive you might not stand up again may the Lord cancel those bad lucks in the my name of Jesus and all the bad news that the enemy is programming to your life uh, it means uh, you, uh, the enemy is programming destruction setbacks May the Lord cancel them if you dream a lion giving birth. You cancel all those evil agenda of the enemy in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. When you're dreaming of a lion climbing a tree, it means that is your destiny. The enemy is going to source. The enemy is attacking your destiny, attacking your virtues. The enemy is attacking that that makes you to be you, that makes you to uh, blossom the enemy is attacking that thing that is making you to be you so you have to cancel and uh, pluck it down in the mighty name of jesus you command it to crush in jesus name 
let it come down with the hook of God and crush it, cut off its head and dash it into pieces. Then you let your destiny come out of the mouth of the uh, evil in the mighty name of Jesus. Then when you dream about a lion uh, chasing you, it means enemies are planning to cause embargoes, curses, and all kinds of calamities in your life. You cancel them and nullify them. When you're dreaming of um, the lion or the lion is eating other Learn the learn eating other maybe it's eating other animals eating snakes eating all these kinds of animals in the maybe zoo or something it means that the lord is power you are being protected by the lion of judah and the ones you're seeing being eaten at your enemies so may the lord always give you that protection in Jesus' name when you're dreaming about a lion two lions fighting it means that uh, those are the powers those are the powers that are organizing war or those are the powers your power and um, the other enemy power all demonic powers spiritual powers they are over they are fighting and they are going to bring calamity if you don't pray that much hard so those are your prayers and the other powers fighting most of the times when you dream even people fighting or anybody fighting in the dream those are the powers fighting to bring you down or your prayers are fighting to uh, come out of whichever cage you're under so when you dream of um uh, uh lions when you dream of uh, uh lions attacking you these are the dreams that i dreamt when i'm i'm, I'm, I'm praying uh, fast when you dream of lions attacking you uh, one it means that uh, the enemy is after your blood uh, those are the fresh eaters and drinkers of blood. When you see them in your dream, you'd command them to vomit your blood, and uh, and you ask God to restore back your spiritual life. You tell them to vomit your blood and uh, to vomit your fresh, so that at least uh, you gain them back to uh, you manage yourself uh, uh, when you're praying. When you see every animal eaters, those eaters of uh, fresh and uh, drinkers of blood, fresh eaters rather, the eaters of fresh and drinkers of blood, you just know the enemies after your life. So when you're dreaming them uh, attacking you or uh, doing all evil um, things of uh, attacking you one way or the other, it means even the ancestral powers of your self. That time when you say, uh, it means the ancestral powers in general. But in most cases, God will give you a sign that these ancestral powers are coming from either my mom's side, your father's side, or whatever they might be coming from. You'll see a person of that side. You'll see uh, something that at least shows that these ancestral powers are coming from this side. So it means those strong men from your father's house, your mother's house, they've come out and now they, they are... Uh, they are organizing that demonic war against you. You are under that their demonic punishment. So you have just to pray and be rude and uh, let them know that you are no longer their candidate. In the mighty name of Jesus, cut off their leg, eggs, cut off their heads and dash them into pieces. You are no longer their candidate, and they have to. You have to remind them about that. When you're dreaming of a lion in a cage, it means you are under imprisonment, you are under cage, you are stagnant. Any animal, if you dream of any animal under cage, or sometimes you dream even some unknown people under cage, it means you are the one who is under stagnation, you are the one who is under imprisonment, under, uh, you are caged, you are chained, so you have to break and lose yourself from those chains in the mighty name of Jesus. When you dream of um, a lion, it means that the enemy is already, has already penetrated into your spiritual life, so you have to let them out of your spiritual life in the mighty name of Jesus. When you dream of a lion, it means... It mean, uh, it depends how the lion is maybe on the sky. If you see that you're not happy and there is a warning in one way or the other, most of the lions you see by the sky, it means God is warning you of something and you might receive a divine punishment. So may the Lord never punish you in hunger. In Jesus' name, may the Lord have mercy on each and every one of us. May he not punish us in anger. In Jesus' name. When you see a lion, it means you're in a wrong, uh, an environment which is not safe. So may the Lord give you the grace to come out of that environment in Jesus' name. When you dream of a lion, it means uh, you have to be very courageous and wise to uh, curb the problems that are onto, into your life. When you dream of a lion, uh, 
uh, I guess those are the some of the uh, things that you are some of the prayer points that you can uh, go in, uh, you can pray for depending on how you dream the lion these are the prayer points you can use so that at least you cancel that dream and I'll fight don't forget to cancel the plantation that it has planted in you always the prayer points I'm giving you cancel the plantation that why that dream came into your life cancel the manifestation it will not manifest in Jesus' name it will not prosper and uh, most cases a council, uh, the evil agenda of the enemy by bringing such a dream in Jesus' name. Every evil agenda of the enemy by bringing such a dream, cancel that evil agenda and I'll fight in the mind name of Jesus. So we'll go into police. Why we keep on dreaming about police? We'll just put the points into, uh, we we'll just get them first. Why we dream a police? Why police? Police chasing you, police uh, in uh, taking you to prison, or whatsoever. Why we dream of police? We'll go a little bit faster because these are prayer points. It's not a prayer. It's what you pray for when you see the police. First of all, when you dream of police, you just know that you're under a demonic trap. Somebody setting a trap, uh, 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 say a demonic trap to trap you. When you see over police, you just know that those are uh you are under uh, threat your destiny your finances your business is under threat when you dream of uh, police and uh, police uh, will i'm going to explain after doing this or doing that but most of the times you just pray for every temptation that you are you, you might be put in your cancel it and i'll fight every disappointment that ca ca might come on your way you cancel those disappointments and i'll fight them every uh way that uh, lord is also telling you to please please try to obey the laws of god when you dream of police when you dream of police it means you are insecure may the lord give you that security that you need in the mighty name of jesus when you dream of police it means you're under demonic bondage may you uh, be out of that bondage in the mighty name of jesus when you dream of police it means there is a strong man over on your father's side your mother's side that are really after your destiny after your life after your finances you have to cancel them and nullify them when you dream of police uh, it means uh, those are agents of uh, darkness those are agents of darkness just like the uh, dreaming of uh, uh, the past the people who are, who are already passed so that that's also agents of the darkness so when you dream of a police you can't see those untimely death and not fight them and those agents of satan tell them to run into fire in jesus's name when you dream of police it means those are opportunity wasters every opportunity you get in your life it just gets wasted you don't even uh uh, gain anything so those are opportunity wasters you have to cancel them and nullify them in the mind name of jesus when you dream of police maybe when you're talking to police it means you're seeking justice from the might power when you're just talking to them there is peace it means that you're just uh, you're asking for justice in the mind name of jesus may the lord every uh, may the lord judge you accordingly in Jesus' name may the lord judge you fairly in the mighty name of Jesus, when you're dreaming of, of calling a police in your dream, like you're calling a police, you're using your phone to call a police, it means you have to pray harder to uh, gain or to uh, uh, encounter divine protection. When you dream of police, it means be uh, when you're dreaming of uh, calling a police the other one was calling a police and going through when you're dreaming of a police and you're not going through you just know that you need a divine protection you're like empty you don't have any divine protection so you have to uh, ask for god's mercy and his protection in jesus's name when you dream of a police when you uh, when you dream of um, for example when you dream of uh, your friend now is the one calling the police on you when you dream of your friend calling the police on you, it means that that you you should be, if you recognize the faces. But nowadays people are wise; they don't put their faces out there. So when you recognize the uh, face, you just know that that is not a good friend. When you dream of also fake policemen, you just know that uh, you are uh, you are dealing with the wrong friends. So when you're dealing with them, um, uh, when you deal when you're dealing with uh, when you call when your friend is calling a police. It means that this this uh, person is uh, uh, organizing a, a, a trap, organizing failure, organizing all kinds of calamities in your life. You have to avoid the people you're uh, associating with. 
and it will watch your business which kind of business are you doing are you sure you're doing the right one be watchful in the mighty name of jesus and lord father will lead you in jesus mighty name when you're dreaming of police chasing you it means uh, uh also that also means the same when a police is chasing you it's like the friend calling on your police it means um uh, when the police is chasing you uh it's like now this one is like a stamp that you've already been declared wanted within the spiritual uh, within the spiritual uh, like your spiritual realm it means you're already declared uh wanted Already somebody has taken your picture, the evil altar, or already somebody has done that witchcraft and is just waiting for that deed there. So may the Lord cancel whatever plan of the enemy is. It means you already declared you wanted and it will not come to pass in Jesus' name. May the Lord cancel eternal fight. You always pray and cancel every demonic spirit that has declared you wanted. You cancel eternal fight. It will not prosper in your life. It will not come to pass in Jesus' name. When you're uh you yourself you're done chasing police it means uh that's the difference and it means that you watch over you watch uh, the, uh, uh people who are closer to you you watch your environment so when you also you are avoiding police you are avo avo avoiding police it means you're avoiding all the uh uh, uh if you're avoiding police it means you're avoiding problems you're avoiding all these uh, strong men you're avoiding like uh uh, your prayers at least uh, diverting you from all these calamities. So that's the avoiding a, pol a police in the dream. Avoiding them, you see them, you pass there, you see them, you pass there. May the Lord give you the grace to avoid them in the mighty name of Jesus. To be successful in avoiding them. When you dream of a police, uh, uh, when you dream of a police, for example, police, when you dream of them, already handcuffed you or something in fact we will bring that because handcuffing is already is also another a big topic of uh, uh, an action in the dream so when you're dreaming of a police maybe i've already put you inside uh, or, or uh, beating you or are doing all these sorts of uh, uh, threat and, uh, threats on you it means you're under bondages you're under all this kind of uh, witchcraft attacks you're under all calamities and uh, the enemy is already this is the time when the enemy is already at your door knocking so you have to constantly and fight every enemy attack every enemy trap you have to start into uh, you can in fact this one when you dream it you uh, you can go into a death real for uh, of fasting so that you cancel it because that means it needs emergency now when you dream of uh, 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 so when they are handcuffing you, cancel all those embargoes, those obstacles, those battles. You cancel whichever trouble the enemy is setting for you, whichever witchcraft attack you're under. You cancel them and fight them. When you dream of a police, it means um, well, uh, if you you are dreaming that you you are the one who is a police, you have become a police. It means go this connection and uh, protection. It's, there is a connection that God might connect you. To. There is a divine connection. Then also God is reminding you that you are under protection. For you are under divine protection. So may you be uh, be protected day in and day out in Jesus' name. When you're dreaming of police, when you're dreaming of police, uh, when the, you're dreaming of police, God, no. When you're dreaming of police, like, cancel all the evil traps. The, now this is the prayer of uh, canceling all the evil traps of the enemy. Well, I, I was re re I wanted to remind you to when you're dreaming the, uh, of a police, the first thing you should do is to cancel the evil traps of the enemy. Cancel every evil trap of the enemy towards your life. Cancel them and deprogram them in the mighty name of Jesus and command them to fall into their demonic trap and be trapped there in the mighty name of Jesus for the rest of their lives. So when you're being... Uh, uh, when you're being, uh, when you're being, for example, arrested uh, or uh, put in uh, in prison inside, the other one was handcuffed. This one you've put, been put inside. It means that um, uh, somebody's planning. It's a, a spirit of backwardness. Though somebody's planning to provoke that backwardness, so you have to break and lose yourself from every spirit power person that is planning to pull you down, to enslave you, to trap you in one way or the other. Let them be enslaved in Jesus' name themselves. Let them be trapped down themselves. Let them be pulled down by their own powers in the mighty name of Jesus. 
So when there's the, the police, you're going somewhere and the police stops you, it means those are limitations, those are hindrances. You cancel them and nullify them. Every speed that is bringing all kinds of limitations in your life, cancel them and nullify them in the mighty name of Jesus. When the police are checking some documents in your dream, it means God is giving you a go ahead. When the police is giving you some... Uh, when the police, for example, the police, uh, when you're fighting the police, like when you don't agree with them, it means you are the one calling trouble into your life. May you never call trouble into your life in Jesus' name. May the Lord be with us. May the Lord have mercy on us. Be blessed, all of you, and may the Lord overshadow you with his grace.